So let's just say you're running an ecology unit. You're probably going to do some marker recapture. You're probably going to do some quadrant sampling. You get your, you know, one meter square. You go outside, you drop it on the grass. You count up flowers. You figure out, you know, how many flowers are in this field. Sometimes that's not always easy to do because the weather is terrible. Like for myself, it's, it's pouring rain right about now. Not all my kids are going to bring umbrellas. They're going to get soaked to the bone, get super muddy. So how am I going to do this? So this time, I think I'm going to use my desks. So my desks are going to be my quadrants here. What am I going to measure? <laughs> We're going to measure the amount of gum underneath the desk. And what I'll have my kids do is they'll use a random number generator. I'm going to use something called randomizer. I'll have a link somewhere in here. And they're going to sample okay, a random set of desks. And they're going to figure out, okay, what's the estimated amount of gum underneath the desk here in my classroom? And then we're going to extrapolate and we're going to go, okay, well, how much gum is there under all the desks in this building? All the desks in the school. So it's going to be kind of cool to see how it works. It's like a, a pre-video. Um, I'll record my kids actually, you know, flipping over the desk, doing the counts, running the equation, and uh, we'll see how it works out. Assuming we have 32 desks, what's 10% of, of 32? Isaiah, what do you got? 3.2. Yeah, it should be 3.2. Okay, <laughs> are, are there such a thing as 3.2 desks in here? No. Because your population sizes, you're, we're going to vary wildly. Like some people are going to have a really low number, and some people are going to have like this extremely high number. Guys, like some of you guys today are going to ask me, is this the right answer? I can't tell you, if it, like, because you guys are generating data like instantly. I, I like, I, I don't know every possible permutation that's going to happen, especially in the next part, because the next part people are going to ask me, did I do this right? I can't tell you if that's the right answer. I can only tell you if the setup is correct. <laughs> um, if you look at desk number twenty-eight, who's twenty-eight? So Anna's, Anna's 28. She had three pieces of gum underneath her desk. Now, it's not that her number is wrong. It's just that's what she had off of one desk. So what she's saying, in the whole classroom, there's only 96 pieces of gum underneath all the desks. Chances are, you're looking at your desk and be like, no, I had like 20-something just under mine. Like, I know there's going to be more than 90-something. But that's because Anna just used her one desk. Uh, but there's other extremes. Look at, uh, look at this one right here. Uh, who's number 18? Who's desk 18? So like Morgan had like 31 pieces of gum underneath his desk. What the equation is thinking, the equation is thinking that every, if he only uses one desk, the equation is thinking that every desk in this room has 31 pieces of gum underneath it. I'm going to look at desk number 12. So now I need to figure out my N, okay? And my A is going to change. So like now, how many samples am I using? Four, right? I still have 32 desks because I want to find out how much is underneath all 32, but instead of using one, I'm going to use four. Okay? That's a little bit more than 10%. Now I need to figure out, okay, well, what's my little n? Because I don't know these numbers. Uh, 12, 7, 5, and 21. Um, how much is underneath desk number 12? Like I said, I, I don't know. Eight? Uh, how much is underneath desk seven? 11? Five? 10, and then 21, 16, cool. So basically, I add all these up, and that becomes my n, okay? Because it's the total number of pieces underneath the four desks. And this will give us a new big n. Now, this should shrink our, our number down, though. 
So it should get us closer to like the 400s. 